Justin's moved the mic. Out of oh shit! Wait, hold on. The people who raised their hands just looked around, so confused. I am a It's a very, very litigious band. I want a munch. Down, take a take a take a I want to munch. Down, take a take a take a Hey, everybody, welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast. We're so honored to be at PodCon when the, when, uh, the McElroy brothers got the invite. We didn't know if we would also be on the list, but we begged and pleaded our way in, and we're so excited to be with you to share oh, God. this. I can see not very well Justin's iPad from this side of the table. I just saw sort of a brown sort of mass that maybe is sort of... Don't give it away. Okay. <laughs> Big news, everyone. Cinnabon against God... <laughs> It doesn't say that. That's me editorializing. S I N a bun. Yeah. Cinnabon, thank you. Cinnabon is stuffing a cinnamon roll inside a cookie. <laughs> Wait. There's no space inside. And unless this cookie is the fucking TARDIS, I do not understand how this feat is possible. It's putting a cinnamon bun. Cinnamon Wait, roll. Wait, what? A cinema bun. Cinema bun. A cinema bun. Cinema bun inside a cookie. Uh, they're taking a cookie and they're putting a fucking cinnamon roll inside of it. <laughs> that should be the end of the press release. <laughs> the My favorite thing about Munch Squad is that sometimes in order to justify, I'll just say it, their sin, they, have, they come up with a fake um, situation that they're solving. Like, no, you see, it's not a sin against Jesus. <laughs> It's, um, we're solving a problem. And the one, the fake problem they've invented for this delight. Not enough diabetes. <laughs> yeah, right. Is, is one of my favorites so far. The days of deciding between a fresh warm cookie Ew. and an ooey gooey Cinnabon cinnamon roll are no more. Well, these are you. two different day periods that you eat these foods. Also, who made both of them at the same time? Who was like looking at the oven like, what's the Oh, uh, we fucked up. Oh. We did two bakings. Um, in honor of National Cookie Day, Cinnabon will, I mean, desecrate the idea of a cookie. <laughs> It'll slit its throat in front of its family. <laughs> Cinnabon will offer the most ingenious treat to date, the cookie bomb bite. This item takes the beloved chocolate chip cookie to another level. Hell, now, bad. <laughs> by baking a bon bite, imagine the the like pretend you're the person creating this and see if your brain doesn't try to stop you. It probably will. <laughs> it takes the bon bite, the bite-sized version of Cinnabon's world-famous cinnamon roll, inside yeah. a chocolate chip cookie. It's only where, <laughs> where, where? Uh, it will only be available for a limited time. As will the people who consume it, ironically. <laughs> There's no better way to celebrate National Cookie Day than with the quintessential combination of cookies and milk. Stop acting like you're fucking honoring the cookie when you're remixing it and shitting on it. There's no better way to celebrate your last National Cookie Day. <laughs> <laughs> to provide guests with the ultimate dunking experience. Who dunks a fucking cinnamon roll? <laughs> <laughs> they, they partnered with Fairlife to provide a free eight ounce bottle of milk, your last one for every cookie bite purchase on December 4th. And we put cookies in it. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. The nutrient rich ultra, ultra filtered milk is lactose free. It contains 50% more protein, 30% more calcium. I am. Wait, and 50% less sugar than regular milk. Okay. Do not care about the nutrients in the milk of the nightmare bomb that I'm shoving down my hate gullet. That's the worst misdirect I I've ever heard. But the milk is so wicked good for y'all. <laughs> Seriously. No, but milk's I'm still like, gonna cover for yeah, the sugar the, mess. The milk's like, no, nah, it's fine. He's with me. <laughs> the bad cookie will hide in the milk in your tummy. Um, there's more. Sharing a passion for the highest quality ingredients yield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if this shit's made out of emeralds. 
And Goldbond and Fairlife make the perfect pair, just like milk and cookies. Let's check in with Jill Thomas, the Vice President of Global Marketing for Cinnabon. <laughs> Free me from this prison. <laughs> the Cookie Bomb Bite is one of our yummiest examples of creativity to come out of the Innovation Kitchen. <sighs> Hatred and creativity are different things, <laughs> Jill. But they occupy the same part of our, our awful brain. The extent, the extent to which we despise humanity has never been more full. We've never hurt you more. The delicious Cookie Bomb Bite joins two extraordinary baked goods to create an unexpected, out-of-this-world flavor combination not to be missed. How? Because here's the thing. I, Show me a picture of this, this yeah, bad boy. All I'm picturing is like Saturn, where there's literally just like a salmon bun thing. Uh, you're not cooking. that far off, my man. I don't know if y'all, probably not, right? But I can try to. Somebody, so, yeah, I mean, I need it too. That's what you're all fucking thinking. You wanted to laugh, but like secretly you're like, hell yeah. But here's the, I'd fuck that up, no question. I just, it's. Do you think after they put this press release out, somebody leaned in and were like, why didn't we just do like a chocolate chip cinnamon roll? And they were like, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn it. That's because they were getting into their uh, partnership with Nashville's Cricky Co Christie Cookie Company, the brand behind the famous Double Tree by Hilton Cookie. We take your favorite hotel cookie and we put it <laughs> in a fucking cinnamon roll. What do we care? <laughs> we take your favorite hotel cookie and put it in your favorite airport cinnamon roll. <laughs> our partnership with Christie Cookie Company is just one example of our dedication to supporting premium bakery brands that offer craveable products on par with Cinnabon. Are you sure you want to do that, Jill? <laughs> you sure you want to wash the throne that hard? There is one kind of day you can have after eating one of these, I feel like. And in a way, like, maybe it's a relief. You eat one of these, and it's like, well, clear my schedule. Yeah, it, yeah. Tra it transforms your khakis into sweats. <laughs> this is a cookie you look at all day and think, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Not yet. I still have things to do in this world. 